the Joe Rogan experience. I think of marriage as, is a certain thing, which is the um, the context for uh, for procreation, for the for the the building of the the nuclear family. What about people that get married that don't have kids? Are you opposed to that? What if they get married and they decide, you know what, we don't need kids. I'm going to get fixed. You get your tubes tied. Let's travel the world. Well, what do you mean am I opposed to it? I mean, I, I think that uh, that every married couple should be open to life. But what if but, they don't want to? Are you opposed to them being married? If marriage is only for procreation and to bond a family together, what about people that are deeply in love that never want to have children? I, I don't think it's – it's not only procreation, but that is one of the fundamental definitional uh, uh, – aspects of it uh, of course there's more to marriage just than that and know? what about people that are infertile they fall in love and they realize that they can have babies and they don't really necessarily want and to they, adopt and is that okay well, for them to be married because then you're by definition marriage falls into a completely different thing because then it's a bond of love it's a union of love sure i mean that doesn't change the nature of of marriage though it's, it's a little bit like um i say that uh, uh What's the definition of a woman? Well, a woman is someone who by her nature can conceive children in her womb and bear children. And then the response is always, well, what about women who are infertile? Does that, right. does that destroy your definition of woman? And uh, it, it doesn't because, you know, it, it's, still, it's still a woman's nature to bear children. Not every woman will. And there will be disease and infertility and, and old age and all these things that will preclude that. But it's still, it's still of her nature to do so. Um, and I would say the same thing for marriage. I mean, it's, it, it is natural in a marriage for, for procreation to occur. It's not always going to happen in reality, though, but that's still, that's still one of the natural functions of marriage. And, and uh, married couples who can't conceive children, there are other ways to um, be parents, like adoption, for example. If they want to. Right. Sure. But if people want to be married and don't want to ever have children, are you opposed to them being married? Well, I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't advocate a law that would prevent it. But would I, it change the definition of what their marriage is to you? Because they don't want to have a family; they just want to have a loving bond. I think this would be a, a couple that is rejecting uh, one of the fundamental aspects of marriage, and they they should be they they should be open to to life. I would hope that in the future they would be, but. But isn't that just a personal choice? I mean, you can have a very fulfilling life if you just follow your pursuits and your dreams and your, your interests and you find someone that shares those interests with you and you share time together. It's very fulfilling yeah, it's and a, loving. Yeah, it's a, it's, a pers it's a personal choice in that I'm, I'm not advocating for like a law that says that you, you, if you're married, you have, to have, <laughs> you have to have X number of kids. Um, but then why are you opposed to two gay people doing that? Well, because because again, it's 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 not about choice. It's about what this institution, marriage is an institution, and what is it, and what purpose does it serve? And I I, I do not agree with um, tearing down or, or or changing this definition, especially because the people who have changed the definition haven't come up with a new one. So they they say, well, that's not what marriage is. So for thousands of years, we said marriage is the procreative union. And then we had the other side that came along and said, well, it's not that. Okay, well then, like, what is it exactly? And I know you said, well, it's, it's people who love each other. Two people love each other. Well, but then why two people? Why do they have to love each other? Um, you know, all these kinds of questions. You get into, you know, what if they're, they're in the same family? What if brothers and sisters want to marry? And I know every time that comes up, you know, the, the advocates for gay marriage will say, well, that's a slippery slope argument. That's a fallacious. But it's actually not. It's like we're trying to get to what do you even think this institution is now since you've rejected out what we were saying it was. And, um, and I've never found a, a compelling definition. And just, any, any, def any definition offered, it's like, it's like well, what are you, what are you, what's even the point then? Why do, why, just, why do we even need this now? I just don't see how a gay marriage in any way damages a straight marriage. I don't, I don't see it at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just seems to me that people want to be... Look, if you, if you wanted to look at logic, especially in our modern society, which is pretty fucked when it comes to relationships, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% of all marriages end in divorce anyway. They don't make it. You know, if, well, I don't know if anything would damage marriage and damage the institution of marriage. It's the option of divorce. I don't think gay people and gay people getting married in any way, shape, or form changes a bond that you have with your wife. 
It's just called marriage. It's a human invented thing. If we decide that gay people can get married too, I just don't see how it damages anything. I don't think it tears down the definition of marriage in any way. It just opens up the possibility that people who are gay won't be discriminated against. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that a, a gay couple existing uh, directly impacts, you know, there's a gay couple and, you know, wherever, and, and I'm with my wife in, in our house. Like, obviously, right. there's not, um, but I'm talking about, I'm not talking about on the, on the individual level, I'm talking about on, this, on the, the societal level. Right. I would agree that um, divorce, especially, uh, you know, uh, there's no fault divorce, rampant divorce. I don't think it's as high as fifty percent. I know that that's the that's often quoted. I'm not sure where that comes from, but um, it is high. It's like it's too high. And, and Chris I, and, Rock has a great joke about that. He and said it, those are just the people with the courage to get out. He's like, <laughs> how many cowards stay? But it's also it's also true that the advocates for what we call now traditional marriage, which I just call marriage, but the advocates for traditional marriage put themselves at a disadvantage by allow, especially in the churches, like allowing this rampant divorce to occur. Um, and then you've you've already sort of given up on some, a marriage is supposed to be monogamous and, uh, and permanent, as well as procreative. Well, you've given up monogamy and permanence, and so now it's not, that's, that's, that's two of the three legs gone, and so now this assault was waged on the procreative part of it, and it was just, it was, it was difficult to, to withstand it, because the institution had already been weakened. So I agree with you there. Um, but my answer to that is to try to reinforce what marriage is, not to just give up on it entirely and I, I still think you're left with this question of like if marriage is not what i'm saying it is then what why do we even need it what's the point i mean you're saying it's a it's a man-made institution yes but you but you're also like the way that you're pre presenting it it's it's a it's also it's a totally meaningless institution no so they don't need it at all no it's not meaningless it's because it means something to the people that get married so it's just it's just a subjective symbolic Thing. I mean, what? Yeah. So if you're kind of what it is, look, there's a massive responsibility when you're married and when you have children to keep your family together and you raise and keep everybody happy and healthy. And there's great reward to that. Yeah. But it doesn't always work out. It's not it's not a it's people change. People are fucked up. That doesn't it doesn't always work. And so I don't think it should be outlawed because 50 percent of the people fall apart. Just like. I don't think it has any effect whatsoever on a straight couple if a gay couple decides that they want to make it official. And that's what it is to them. It, it gives them a feeling that, that they're accepted and appreciated and that they're not discriminated against because they happen to be homosexual. So well, what you're articulating to me is the damage that's done by gay marriage to the institution of marriage. But how is it done? How is that because, in any way damaged straight people? Because we are making the institution meaningless. But it's not but, meaningless. Well, but it's just very like, meaningful to the people that but have it. Subjective, symbolic, and it's about your own personal feelings. Isn't it, though? Well, no, I, I would say that it's not. It's, it's, well, if it's not subjective and it's not symbolic, it's, then... It's, it, it, it codifies and protects and uh, gives a name to... A, a thing that actually exists, which is which are you know man woman couples creating people creating creating babies, um, but not always. Right, but, again, but that's still, that's still the that's still the nature of the union. So, but what are the percentage of people today that are married that don't have children? I bet it's pretty high amongst heterosexuals. Probably. Is there something wrong with that? I, I think there is something wrong with that. I, I think it, it, there, there is something wrong with you know, getting married and saying, oh, we're just, we don't, we're not going to have any kids at all. But why is there something wrong with that? If someone's personal choice, well, why would that, why is it wrong that two people are like, you know, I am deeply committed to work and I don't want to sacrifice any of my career and I don't want to ruin a kid because I'm constantly at the office, but that's where I get deep satisfaction. And, and that's, that's what I'm focused on. And the, the woman says, that's great because I don't want children either. I really am yeah. attached to my interests and my career and what I like to do. That, that's not damaging your relationship with your wife and your family. And it's I don't certainly I certainly don't think of it as a threat to my marriage or my family. Yeah, it's uh, it is a personal choice, right? But shouldn't but... people be allowed to make those personal choices? Like, isn't that a fundamental aspect of what it means to be American to have that freedom? 
Well, right, yeah, but right now we're not talking about what people are allowed to do. I'm not saying well, that. Well, we're talking about marriage, gay marriage. Okay, that, we, were, we, we were just discussing straight couples who choose not to have kids. Straight couples, that's also a personal freedom issue, isn't right. it? Yeah, but, and I'm not saying that, that straight couples should be legally required to have kids, but I, I, you know, if you're asking me, do I think it's the right choice to just get married and choose not to have kids ever, I, I, I do not think that that's the right choice. It might, it's, their, it's their choice, but people can make choices that are wrong. Um, and you can disagree. But how is it wrong if they have a fulfilling and wonderful life together with that choice? If their their thing is that they just want to have a bond between the two of them to just like take it to the next yeah. level, let everybody know like we are married. If I die, my money's going to go to Helen, and if Helen dies, you know I you know I'm going to mourn her because she was my wife, and now I'll be a widower. Like to some people, that distinction gives them peace and security and makes them feel better about the relationship that they're both so committed that they've legally signed documents that say that they're bound by law and under the eyes of God or whatever you believe in. Yeah. They're, they're able to make that choice, but I think you're, re- you're still rejecting one of the purposes of marriage. And in the scenario that you just outlined, you're also deciding to live a really self-centered Life, you're saying. What if you're not? What if your work is very charitable? What if it benefits humanity in a deep way? What if you spend a lot of time doing, you know, healthcare work and, you know, and uh, social work, and you're you're deeply committed to your community? It's not selfish at all. You're just dedicating your time to something other than raising new human beings. But you're dedicating your life to enhancing other human beings that are around you. That's a hypothetical. It I, is a hypothetical, right, but so but, is yours, right? Yeah, but I, I think most of the people that choose, like, we're not going to have kids, and, and the and the the rate of uh, those rates are declining, um, and the age when people first have kids is also going up, and, and all that. Yeah, and, and I, I, most of the people that are making these choices, I don't, I don't think it's because they're involved in charity work. I, I do think that it is more the the scenario you outlined. In the, in the first time around, which is just like, well, I, I, this is what I'm doing. You know, I have my job. I don't want to give it up. Yeah. Because of, um, but don't you think that people should have the freedom to live their life in that way? I think human beings vary widely in a huge way. And I think there's some human beings that find a very fulfilling life just reading books and traveling and experiencing different things and seeing art and doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And they don't necessarily have to have kids to live a fulfilling life that way. And if they choose to do that with someone who they have a loving bond with and who they get married to, I don't think it's a bad thing that they don't want to have kids. Well, I think, I guess we have to, maybe we're running into a, a question of, of, you know, now you get to the real fundamental question. I think like it's what? a fundamental freedom thing. Yeah, it, 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 we're not disagreeing, I guess, on the freedom aspect of it because, again, I'm not saying that you should be required to have kids. But so, you're imposing your sensibilities on what you think is important in life to other people. But everybody has a different idea of what's I'm important not, in I'm life not, without hurting anyone. The thing is, like, my, what I'm saying is these people that are, that are married, that don't have children, they're not harming anyone. They're not harming these unborn children that they never have. They're not harming anyone. And it doesn't affect your relationship with your family and your marriage at all. Yeah, but and I'm also it, not. I'm not imposing myself on them or in, harming them by answering a question about about right. how I feel about their choices. Right, but nor are gay people doing that to you. I if, think the I, the harm comes from on a societal level when we start breaking down these basic uh, central institutions like the the institution of the, of the family and of marriage. That's where the harm, harm comes from. And the, the more that people believe, the more that we build a society where it's believed that marriage is objectively meaningless, right? It's, it's entirely subjective. It's just, about, it's just about making you feel better. Um, the more that we build a society like that, I think the, that's where the harm comes in, the, wor- the worse it is. And people are going to reject marriage. Um, and, uh, and that means more, you know, fewer kids are being born. Also, more kids are being born in a context where they don't have that stable family structure. So the harm definitely comes. It may not be this immediate, you know, connect the dots thing, but uh, and we can already see that.